way that the river runs through this town? Which way does the wind blow when the sun goes down? We're here in beautiful North Rustico, Prince Edward Island, the home of the Watermark Theatre. Now, Watermark Theatre has been producing high-quality professional theatre since 2008, but we're not here to talk about theatre today. We're here to talk with one of the most beloved sons of Rustico, Mr. Lenny Gallant. I still get up before the day breaks I still walk down to the shore I watch the sunrise from the eastern ocean But I don't sail to meet it anymore How could they have let this happen? We saw it coming years ago the Greedy ships kept getting Bigger and bigger and the sun I told them where to go Last night I dreamed that I was sailing out on the sea of Galilee From cast our nets upon the water and Jesus pulled the men with me Where am I gonna go now? What about this boat I own? What about this old piano? What about my father's bones? Last night I dreamed that I was sailing out on the sea of Galilee. We cast our nets upon the water And Jesus pulled the man with me Oh yes he did, you know he did Someone sang an old sea shanty And Neely told a mainland joke and Kelly cursed and swore until his voice gave out Then he asked me for a smoke and Then he took his father's shotgun Walked to the harbor through the town He fired 14 times Woke everybody up We all watched that boat go down Last night I dreamed that I was sailing Out on the sea of Galilee We cast our nets upon the water And Jesus pulled the man with me Last night I dreamed that I was sailing out on the sea of Galilee. We cast our nets upon the water, and Jesus pulled the man with me. Oh, yeah, pulled the man with me. I still get up before the day breaks. I still walk down to the shore I watch the sun rise from the eastern ocean But I don't sail to meet it anymore Peter's Dream is recognized as one of the top 10 greatest East Coast songs of all time. And it was recently put into the Canadian Songwriters Hall of Fame. When did you write that song? almost 25 years ago, uh, and just about a mile from where we're sitting here. Right around the, the height of the fisheries crisis when suddenly it became obvious to everyone how much the mismanagement of the ocean and, and what had happened uh, was going to affect so many small 
towns and villages, not unlike the one that I grew up in. And I was waking at six o'clock hearing a, a few boats that were heading out to sea because I was right on the, practically right on the harbor. And uh, I get up and, and uh, it's just one of those songs every now and then, it's, it's kind of like a gift. The song just spills out. You hardly change a word. Uh, and it was written very quickly, you know, not much more than an hour, which is very, very unusual for me. I can hear the elders calling out the name. Some of the more spiritual images that talked about in the song, I was trying to think, well, where did that come from? And, uh, and I certainly wasn't thinking about writing the song, but I think the, uh, the work of a Newfoundland artist uh, named Gerald Squires had something to do with it because I was very taken with his work. Uh, I'd seen it in a magazine uh, called Atlantic Insight a long time ago and was very taken with his artwork. And when I went to Newfoundland to play in a festival over there, I, I wanted to go and find some of his work. He did a whole series of paintings that dealt with uh, the relationship between Newfoundland, fishermen and women, and their relationship with the sea it was very spiritual. So I understand how the ocean can be very, you know, uh, it can give, it's very generous, but it can also want to take. And there's not a community, a fishing community on this island that has an experience to taking every now and then, and that's hard. And so that connection with the ocean that, that, that so many uh, fishermen in small communities have, it's more than just a job. You know, you've invested your life and, your, and uh, so much of your soul, really, into that profession. And you paid for it dearly, and you paid for it with your friend and your relatives' lives. And so it's more than just a job. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's deep. Well, if you'd have told me 25 years ago that I would still be saying it, I, right? I probably would have said, forget it. You know, that's not going to happen. When I hear your lullaby, I know where I belong. From the legend of Grey Kluska, from the people of the dawn, this name was given to you. Now you know where you belong. Abogwit, 